you guys? So today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do this the sunglasses sort of transition. Andreas Hem did it in a video of his and someone commented saying they wanted to see this so here it is. So basically you just want to clip with someone wearing sunglasses and any other clip. <laughs> so I have two clips right here. One is of the skateboarder and this is going to be going into her sunglasses. So I'm going to turn the eye off on my first clip of the skateboarder to show you how this is going to work. So here in the beginning of the clip, the sunglasses is facing the camera. So this will be easier to work with. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to see how long we want this effect to last. So I'm just going to go a couple frames after the clip starts. And then I'm going to go down to scale and position and press the two keyframes buttons. Then I'm going to go a little bit, like very little bit right before those keyframes and I'm going to scale it all the way into her sunglasses, like literally all the way. And this is why a 4K camera would be good with this if you're not like actually ex exporting this in 4K because then the quality will be so much better and I'm sure Andreas has a 4K camera. But this isn't shot in 4K so the quality won't be as good but it'll still work so we're just gonna adjust the scale and position to zoom up to her the left part of her sunglasses so we're just gonna adjust those and I think this is good so if you watch it back it just zooms out really quick which I want um so yeah in the beginning it has a couple frames showing her sunglasses very close up okay now let's turn the eye back on for the first clip and what we're gonna do is press the ellipse tool and then we're gonna create a circle off of this so I definitely want the skateboarder to be in this clip so you can do that but it will be easier to just make a circle right in the center of the clip but I'm just gonna do it here and show you how this can be done so I just use the ellipse tool to make a circle and then I'm gonna go back to the mouse and just drag it towards the sunglasses and I can tell that the sunglasses is in a circular shape, but maybe not all sunglasses will be like this. So you can also use the pen tool to create a mask off of the eye. But yeah, I'm just using the ellipse tool and I'm adjusting the scale and position to go right on her sunglasses. And you can also adjust the opacity so you can see if it's nicely blended. Now let's press the drop down for the mask. And let's just feather the edges a bit. So I just went to 47. Okay, so I forgot to kind of do this in the beginning, but um, I'm just going to press Command-Shift-D right here because this is where I want the effect to start in her sunglasses. So we're just going to press Command-Shift-D to split the clip where we started masking it. And then for the first clip, I'm just going to delete the mask on it. Okay, now let's just work with this circle clip so we're gonna need to sort of track this but we can't really use track camera so we're gonna do this manually so let's just go to mask and we're gonna press the keyframe button for mask path and then you can press the command and right arrow tool to go frame by frame forward and this is how you can go through the frames really slowly. So I'm just going to go two frames forward and then and I'm going to press the mask path button. And you're going to have to press one of the pointers on the circle and then drag it to where you want to drag it. So I'm just going to drag it a little to the right. So it'll make a keyframe. Keep doing this frame by frame. So I'm going to keep pressing command and the right arrow key and just keep making keyframes. Okay, so now I see that the edges of my clip is starting to form. So this might not be the case for you, but because I chose to circle the sort of corner of the clip, the edges are starting to show. So if you kind of made the ellipse tool around the center, it won't really matter. But for me, it's matter. it matters now. So I'm just going to adjust the feather a bit and the expansion. But as you can see, if you try to drag it to make another mask path, to follow the sunglasses, it's not gonna work. So because the clip's edges are starting to show, I'm gonna use a position instead. I'm just gonna press P for the clip. That'll make the position pop up. So I'm gonna go one frame backward and press the keyframe button, and then go one frame forward to where I left off, and I'm just gonna adjust the position to follow the sunglasses. So now the edges won't show, and I can just press Command and the right arrow key to just follow the position of the sunglasses. Okay, so I finished sort of 
tracking the clip. And once you get to the point where your clip is scaling out because we made keyframes before, this is where we'll stop. So as you can see, I just track the sunglasses a bit. Oh, but I gotta adjust the position of my first clip, dang. So I'm just gonna revert the position to 960 and 540 and just make the scale back to 100. Okay, so basically we have the beginning clip right here and then the masked out ellipse with the sunglasses. Okay, so now I'm just gonna drag the second clip up to the first line and I'm going to drag it over to the ellipse. So I'm going to press T for opacity and then I'm going to press the keyframe button for opacity to where uh, the ellipse clip starts. And then I'm going to go a couple frames forward and then I'm going to change the opacity to zero. So now it blends out. And then you can adjust it to make it a little bit shorter and faster. So now let's go to where we left off when the sunglass clip scales back out. So we're gonna go to our second layer and press the drop down for opacity. And then we're gonna press the keyframe opacity button for where the clip starts to scale back out. And then we're gonna go a couple frames forward to where it finishes scaling out and we're gonna change the opacity to zero. We can actually bring that last keyframe forward so that it blends out a lot faster. So now if you watch it back, you can barely see the skateboarding clip uh, fade out, but it looks very clean because it's going really fast. Okay, now to add a little bit of some style, I guess, onto the scaling out part, um, we can press Command Shift D to where the clip starts to scale out, and then it'll split the clip and then go where the scaling out finishes, and then we're gonna press Command Shift D over there, and then it'll split the clip again. And then we can add some motion blurring on this. We're gonna press that motion blur circular, three circular buttons on the top and over here, and then we're also gonna press it on the clip. And if you don't see that, you can press the toggle switches slash modes. So now if we watch it back, it's a bit cleaner because it has some motion blur. This is optional, but I don't like how the beginning transition is. So I'm gonna make this look a little bit better. So in the beginning, where it fades into the sunglasses clip, it just, the opacity is just fading in. So let's change that, because I don't really like it. So let's go to our second clip, and we're going to go like one frame after the clip starts. And then we're going to press the keyframe button for opacity, and then go back to the beginning a little bit before the clip starts to appear, and we're going to change the opacity to zero. So now they're both kind of blending in at the same time. Um, but you could spread out the keyframes so it looks a little bit better. So you can just play around with that. Now what you also might want to do is match the skater boy to uh, the sunglass clips. So I'm going to go to transform and adjust the scale and position. So I'm going to press the keyframe button for scale and position and then go a couple frames forward to where that clip starts to appear and then just match the position and scale to the skateboarder in the second clip because you can kind of see like an outline of the clip. So let's just match it up. So now if you watch it back, it scales to that position and then goes out, but you can see the edges of it, which sucks. And uh, if this was a regular clip and we in the beginning we ellipsed it to the center, then we wouldn't have to do this step, but here's what you would have to do to make it look better. But first I'm going to go to where the scale and position starts to reveal the black edges, and then press Command Shift D to split the clip. And then I'm going to use the rectangle tool and create a little mask of it. And then let's just change the um, screen to 33.3% so we can kind of see the edges. And I'm just going to adjust the uh, mask so that it fits around all sides of the edges. And then I'm just going to adjust the right part to where the clip starts to appear and just drag it all the way to the left so that it crops out the image kind of. And then I'm just going to feather it and adjust the mask expansion to negatives so that it really just feathers out the edges of the clip and that looks more blended. 
So now you don't really see the sharp edges of the clip. And then just adjust the bottom clips so that they also appear at the same time. Okay, so that's the whole tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of long, I think. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if this helped you out. And comment more tutorial ideas. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.